Good morning. This is intermediate challenge number one. You need a mat for later and dumbbells. I go light and medium, heavy if you want. We're gonna start moderate though. Second time through, you can know if you need to bump it up or not. This is all strength based. This challenge is gonna be amazing. Can't wait. Okay. Now, if you feel you're cold just without a bed, please dance to a song or walk around the block. I'm not doing warm ups for these videos because we don't actually need a ton to do this. But if you're feeling cold, dance, walk, whatever you need to do for about five minutes and then come on and join me. We're gonna start with the reverse lunge. I'm actually gonna go this way. Most important thing is you take a giant step back, like mother may I. When you come back, see how this knee is not over this toe? You want your weight back. So if we came down, that'd be a 90 degree angle. Now you don't have to go down that far. Okay, we're gonna stand one side for 800, one side, and then we'll switch. So let's be more of an angle. Okay, step back right here. Now, if this is very easy for you, you can hold a dumbbell on this hand. You can hold a dumbbell here. I'm gonna stay body weight only for now, so I can still talk at the same time. Four more like that. Here's four, nice work. The lower you go, the harder it's gonna be. Here's two. One. Oh, Gimli. What are you gonna do? Okay, other side, here we go. Any dog lovers love him photo bombing. So, again, body's nice and tall. All that weight is in that front heel. Okay, and you're breathing. It is a balance challenge, too. Last four right here. See? Almost fell over. Four more. You can laugh with me or at me. Last two right here. Here's two. Okay, bend down with your knees. Let's grab your weights. And do an upright row. Anytime you're standing from weights in your hands, keep a slight bend in your knees. Keep that core tight. They can be wide. They can be narrow. It doesn't matter. We're doing an upright row. Roll those shoulders back. Upper two right here. Up, up. Now going slower really makes you engage those muscles. Think about behind your shoulders. Up squeeze that's where you want to feel it if they're too heavy and you're leaning back do one arm at a time or get lighter weights you never want to lean back oh we want to protect our backs at all costs four more like that and please don't think you have to start super heavy last two right here there's two last one right here Okay, next one's gonna be a squat and press. I'm gonna put one dumbbell down. If you wanna keep them both and go up like this, that's totally fine. Again, this is your workout. Do what is best for you. So we're gonna squat and bring it up over our heads. Singles. Ready, here we go. Down, press. All the weight is back in your heels. You're keeping your shoulders back and your chest up. If you have two weights, how you doing? If you have one weight, how are you doing? Last three right here. Last three. Last two. Three more. Okay. This one, straight arm press back. If your triceps are not super strong, you might want to go one arm at a time or grab your lighter weights and let's do both arms. So we're going to be always bending your knees, hinge forward from your hips, look down to the towards the ground, Backwards right here. Straight, press. At the very top of movement, squeeze those triceps. Head next, find always in a nice straight line. This is the bat wings, be gone. Four more like that, here's four. And breathe with me, three. Last two right here, two. One more. Okay, how'd you feel? We're going to round two. I'm gonna do two sets for these exercises. If you are feeling great, you can absolutely do a third one. We're in a row now. I'm gonna keep one dumbbell. I'm sorry, we're lunging, we're lunging. So whatever foot is coming back, that's where you're gonna hold the dumbbell. If you want, you don't have to. Or it can be here. I'll try it up here. Okay, I'm nice and tall. Ready, here we go. How low you go totally up to you just make sure you have the weight all the way in that front heel excellent work let's go four more like that 
Here's three. Good, good. Here's two. And let's switch sides. Here we go. That weight makes it a little bit more challenging. And notice if you're more wiggly on one side, I'm so much more wiggly on my right. Normal means you're human. Four more like that. Here's four. Stay with me, last two, you got this. Here's two, last one. Okay, bend down with your knees, grab that other dumbbell. We're going two and two again for the upright row. Bend those knees, roll those shoulders back, up nice and tall. Ready, here we go. Up. Nice work. Up. Breathe out on the way up. Squeeze, think about that mind muscle connection right here. You're squeezing the muscles that are working hard for you. Four more like that. Here's four. Good work. Here's three. Last two right here. Here's two. Last one. Okay, if you're feeling daring, let's hold on to that squat and press singles. Here we go. Down, press. If it's too much, please put one weight down and use one only. Four more. Excellent. There's three. There's two. Heart rate's up for sure. Okay, straight down, press back, aka that one to be gone. Bend those knees. Hinge forward just a little bit. Let those arms hang down. We're going for singles. Ready? Breathe out. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Squeeze those triceps at the top. Halfway there, right here. Four, three, plus two, two. Okay, that's it for the stand-up part. You can put these down. Please always bend your knees when you do that. And let's grab your mat. Excuse me, excuse me, come on. Sorry. Come on now. Okay, the first one we're gonna do, it's gonna be a plank and you're gonna be giving yourself a pat on the shoulder for doing such a great job. We're only doing 500, so not that many. Remember, in the plank, your hands are here. They're not here. How wide are your shoulders? That's where we're going down. I will be right here. Okay. Your feet can be wider for a better base, a more stable base. Lift those hips up a little bit. Pat yourself right here. 10. Emily, you are just crazy. Hey, hey, stop it. Here's six. Five, excellent work. Hang in there, four more. Anybody saying damn Pam yet? Three more. There's three. Last two right here. Two. Last one right here. Crazy or okay? Hopefully okay. It should be a little bit challenging. This is intermediate. Okay, the next one, we're gonna do a straight leg drop. Challengers, whenever you're on the ground, please make sure your head stays down. Never bring your head up off the mat. That's gonna not feel great on your neck. Okay, you are ridiculous. Straight leg drop is just like it sounds. You're going to, let's see, okay. Have your hands under your butt. And we're gonna drop those legs just about halfway down. Now, you can go a little bit lower, but if you feel it in your back, I want you to stop. Now on these, I want you to concentrate on keeping that core nice and tight and breathe out. If that's crazy on your back, one leg, straight leg drop only, please. But you can do it to here and not feel it in your back. So it's really depending on your body, how your back is, keeping that head down and thinking about what you're working. You should feel it all the way right on your belly button. Last two right here, then we'll go back to the plank. One more right here. Okay, great job. Giving yourself a pat because you're doing an amazing job. Okay, remember, wider stance is going to make it a little bit easier. Hands right under your shoulders. Here we go. Tap, down. You overachievers, try not to move your body. Your body wants to shake right and left as you tap. Try to keep it as still as possible. That makes your core work even harder. We're halfway there and breathe out. 
No pursed lips, please. Breathe. Last two on each side. Come on. One more right here. Come on down. Let's slide down for that straight leg drop. Okay, hands under your butt. Legs up. Here we go. Down, down. Oh. Up. You do not have to go as far as me. If you feel it in your back, that's where I want you to stop and come back up. Breathe out, tighten my core. And breathe in. You should be a little sh sh shaky when your legs get to the bottom of whatever works for you. That's it, that's it. We only have two more, that's it. Come on, yes you can. Down, down, down. On the last one, we're gonna hold it. Hold it where it's challenging for you. And breathe and shake. Four, three, two, and one. Okay. That is workout number one done. If you need more, rewind and go through it one more time or two more times. Everybody's different. Thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of your day.